In today's episode, we're hunting at Hans Hook Safaris in the Eastern Cape of South Africa. Hans Hook is located in the Fish River Valley area and is well known for the large valleys and cliff faces that dominate the topography of this property. They mainly focus on plains game hunting, but out of necessity due to the recent drought, have had to farm lucerne, which is the most commonly grown food source for wild game here in South Africa. As you can see behind me, there is a lucerne field. The problem is, is the hyrax are living right along this cliff face adjacent to the farmlands here. So they come down in their numbers and they graze away and they cut away and eat all the new shoots, which is a major problem for the farmer. They have recently experienced a three year drought. They want to hold on to every bit of food source that they can. So let's get out there, see if we can get some of those hyrax and have a good day's hunting. The rock hyrax or dussy is a medium sized mammal which can be found living on cliff faces throughout Africa. This species can weigh up to 5 kilograms and typically stays in groups of 10 to 80 animals. In all my previous experiences hunting these animals, I've learned that they are extremely aware and hard to spot. That's why I'm going to be keeping my eyes on these rock faces today and make sure that I check every nook and cranny for these little critters. Yeah, there's lots there. There's lots, 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 but we're in the, we're in the open, come. Oh, there is dussies all over that cliff face. Let's go. Good cover is absolutely vital in situations like this. I've just got to get in the bush. I know this one could be the first one of the day. Okay, they're still there. I think they know something's up there looking this way. Oh, they seem to be alright though. They're not moving too they're not moving too rapidly, so. Okay, let's get through here. I'm gonna just use this tree here. Okay. Right, that's perfect. Awesome. <laughs> Straight down. Yeah. But they're still all around, so. We don't want to make too much noise. We're just going to move a little bit further down. It looks like they've just run around the ledge, so we should find them again. Let's go. Hyrax are territorial animals which stay in large groups. I know the others will be back on their rock very soon. I just need to find a new vantage point. Okay, there they are. They're on the ledge there. Looks like they've all run around the edge of the cliff and back this way, so there's no ways we're going to get the rest, but let's see if we can go and find those ones. So let's go. Yes, nice, nice fat Hyrax. Look at that. All right, fantastic. Oh, that is great. Let's take this one there and then uh, see if we can find the other one. That's the cliff there. He fell straight down, so, yep, there he is. Nice one, all right. Okay, look at that. Eh? Another very nice dusty, and a good shot. Exactly the same shot again, so great. Let's uh, keep moving. This place is just so full up with dussies that I know it won't be long before I spot another one. Are they Again, I need cover. Luckily, they haven't spotted me yet. 
I definitely know that this could be a chance to bag another one. This is the perfect spot. They'll find it hard to see me and I've got a good line of sight. Hey, it's right on the edge there, bro. Okay, oh, I just gotta get down. This angle's tight, hang on. Okay. Yes. Ooh, that's awesome. Man, right under there. Ooh, man, they've all run around, so ooh, it's gonna be a mission trying to find that one. Ah, oh, there he is. There he is right there. <laughs> awesome. Man, he dropped right from the top, straight down. You know, today, the gun I'm using is the, the S410 TDR takedown rifle. This gun has just so many adjustable features that are just so great to use. As you can see, it's very easy to assemble and also take apart. Power levels are easy to adjust, but paired to suit your build and the trigger depending on your preference. I tell you, it is perfect rifle for this kind of hunting. It's got a nice light frame and uh, it has all the power you need. So definitely the kind of rifle I'd recommend for this kind of hunting. The day's still young, but lots more dusties to hunt, so let's keep on going. There's lots here. We've just walked into a new zone and uh, they are all over the ledges. There's lots of nice little caves as well, so found a good area. But right now I've seen a whole bunch of them that have given themselves away with movement, so I think we're gonna get a good chance here. Let's, let's give it a go. These animals are so perfectly suited to the environment. They blend in so well with the rocks that often it takes them having to move before you can spot them. They're there, they're there. Let's get set up on this tree. Luckily for me, he made a move and I spotted him going into his cave. Yes, straight down. Oh, there's another, there's another one. So, he's just sitting there. Yes! Oh, that was awesome, man. Two dasties on the same spot. Yo. Look, that was cool. All right. Here we go. All right, another nice fat one. This is great. This place is full of these fat dasties. No wonder the farmer wants us to help him out. I just can't believe how many there are scuttling around these rocks. And uh, they've been left alone for a long time, so job well done. Let's go and get the other one. I think he fell just off that ledge over there. Let's see if we can get him. Be here somewhere. There, there he is. This is a proper fatty. Have a look at this. Eh? Sure. We. All right. That is great. Oh. What a great day's hunting. We've had an absolute blast. I'm sure the farmer's going to be very happy. We've taken a whole bunch of these Hyraxes out. And uh, I tell you, we've had an absolute blast. <laughs>